Developing better money habits is an important aspect of personal finance and wise money management. This can involve creating a budget, reducing debt, saving for emergencies and retirement, and making informed purchasing decisions. By developing better money habits, you can increase financial stability, reduce stress, and make progress towards your financial goals. Here are several tips on how to spend your money wisely. Number 1. Set financial goals and prioritize spending accordingly. Setting financial goals and prioritizing spending accordingly is a key aspect of wise money management. Here's a more detailed explanation of how you can do this. Determine your financial goals. Start by identifying what you want to achieve with your money. This may include paying off debt, saving for an emergency fund, buying a home, or investing for retirement. Write down your goals and prioritize them in order of importance. Assess your current financial situation. Take a look at your current income, expenses, and debts. This will give you a good idea of how much money you have available each month to put towards your goals. Allocate your money accordingly. Based on your financial goals and current situation, allocate your money to each goal. For example, if paying off debt is your top priority, put as much money as you can towards paying off that debt each month. Track your spending. Keep track of where your money is going each month. This will help you identify areas where you may be overspending and make adjustments to your budget accordingly. By setting financial goals and prioritizing your spending, you can ensure that your money is going towards the things that are most important to you and that you're making progress towards your financial goals. Number two, create and stick to a budget. Creating and sticking to a budget is a crucial step in managing your money wisely. Here's a more detailed explanation of how you can create and stick to a budget. Gather your financial information. Start by gathering information on your income and expenses. This can include pay stubs, bills, bank and credit card statements, and receipts. Determine your monthly income. Calculate your total monthly income, including your salary, bonuses, and any other sources of income. List your monthly expenses. Write down all of your monthly expenses, including fixed expenses such as rent or mortgage payments, utilities, and car payments and variable expenses such as groceries, entertainment, and personal care. Create a budget. Based on your income and expenses, create a budget that allocates your money to each category. Make sure to allocate enough money for your necessities first, such as housing and food and then allocate the remaining money towards your other expenses. Track your spending. Keep track of your spending throughout the month to make sure you are sticking to your budget. Adjust your budget as needed. If you find that you're overspending in certain categories, adjust your budget accordingly. This may mean reducing spending in other areas or finding ways to increase your income, review, and adjust your spending limits regularly. Your spending patterns may change over time, so it's important to review and adjust your spending limits regularly. For example, if you get a raise, you may want to adjust your spending limits to reflect your increased income. By creating and sticking to a budget, you can ensure that you are spending your money wisely and making progress towards your financial goals. It's important to be flexible and adjust your budget as needed as your financial situation may change over time. Number three, avoid impulse purchase and only buy what you need. Avoiding impulse purchase and only buying what you need is an important aspect of wise money management. Here's a more detailed explanation of how you can do this. Make a list. Before you go shopping, make a list of the items you need. This will help you stay focused and avoid buying items that you don't need. Take your time. Don't rush into making a purchase. Take your time to think about whether you really need the item and if there's a better or more affordable option available. Shop with a purpose. When you go shopping, have a clear idea of what you need and what you're looking for. Avoid browsing the store aimlessly, as this can lead to impulse purchase. 
Avoid impulsive shopping habits. Certain habits, such as shopping when you're bored or emotional, can lead to impulse purchase. Try to avoid these habits and find alternative activities to do instead. Use cash instead of credit cards. Research has shown that people are more likely to make impulse purchase when they use credit cards, as they don't feel the immediate impact of the purchase. Consider using cash instead, as this will help you stay within your budget and avoid impulse purchase. By avoiding impulse purchase and only buying what you need, you can make sure that you are spending your money wisely and avoiding unnecessary expenses. This will also help you stay within your budget and make progress towards your financial goals. Number 4. Shop around for the best deals and compare prices before making a purchase. Shopping around for the best deals and comparing prices before making a purchase is an important aspect of wise money management. Here's a more detailed explanation of how you can do this. Research products. Before making a purchase, research the product to determine its features and benefits. This will help you determine whether it's worth the price and whether there are similar or better options available. Compare prices. Compare prices for the product you're interested in at different stores and online retailers. This will help you find the best deal and ensure that you are getting the most value for your money. Take advantage of sales and discounts. Look for sales and discounts that may be available, such as promotions, coupons, and clearance sales. These can often result in substantial savings. Check for price matching. Some retailers offer price matching, which means that they'll match the price of a competitor if you find the same product for a lower price. Consider refurbished or used items. Consider purchasing refurbished or used items, as these can often be a more affordable alternative to new items. By shopping around for the best deals and comparing prices before making a purchase, you can make sure that you are getting the most value for your money and avoiding overpaying for products. This will also help you stay within your budget and make progress towards your financial goals. Number 5. Invest in quality items that will last, rather than cheap items that need to be replaced frequently. Investing in quality items that will last, rather than cheap items that need to be replaced frequently, is an important aspect of wise money management. Here's a more detailed explanation of why this is a good strategy. Save money in the long run. While a cheap item may seem like a good deal at the time, it may need to be replaced frequently, which can be more expensive in the long run. Investing in a quality item that will last can save you money in the long run, as you won't need to replace it as often. Get more value for your money. Quality items are often made with better materials and are designed to last longer, which means that you are getting more value for your money. Better performance. Quality items often perform better and provide a better user experience, which can make them more enjoyable to use and save you time and frustration in the long run. Increased durability. Quality items are designed to be more durable and withstand more wear and tear, which means that they'll last longer and perform better over time. Reduced waste. Investing in quality items that will last reduces waste, as you won't need to replace them as often. This is better for the environment and can also save you money in the long run. By investing in quality items that will last, rather than cheap items that need to be replaced frequently, you can make sure that you are getting the most value for your money and reducing waste in the long run. This is a good strategy for managing your money wisely and making progress towards your financial goals. Number 6. Pay off debt as soon as possible, especially high interest debt. Paying off debt as soon as possible, especially high interest debt, is an important aspect of wise money management. Here's a more detailed explanation of why this is a good strategy. Reduce interest payments. High interest debt, such as credit card debt, can be expensive due to the high interest rates. Paying off this debt as soon as possible can reduce the amount of interest you pay and save you money in the long run. Improve your credit score. 
Paying off debt can improve your credit score, as it reduces your credit utilization and shows that you are a responsible borrower. This can make it easier to get approved for loans and credit in the future. Reduce financial stress. Carrying high levels of debt can be stressful and overwhelming. Paying off debt as soon as possible can reduce financial stress and give you peace of mind. Free up money for other expenses. Once you've paid off debt, you'll have more money available each month to put towards other expenses, such as saving for an emergency fund or investing for retirement. Increase financial freedom. Being debt-free can give you more financial freedom and flexibility, as you won't be limited by monthly debt payments. By paying off debt as soon as possible, especially high interest debt, you can reduce interest payments, improve your credit score, reduce financial stress, free up money for other expenses, and increase financial freedom. This is a good strategy for managing your money wisely and making progress towards your financial goals. Number seven, save for emergencies and build up an emergency fund. Saving for emergencies and building up an emergency fund is an important aspect of wise money management. Here's a more detailed explanation of why this is a good strategy. Protect against unexpected expenses. Emergencies, such as a job loss, medical emergency, or car repair, can happen at any time. Having an emergency fund in place can provide a safety net and protect you against unexpected expenses. Avoid going into debt. Without an emergency fund, unexpected expenses can lead to going into debt, such as using credit cards or taking out a loan. Having an emergency fund in place can help you avoid going into debt. Peace of mind. Knowing that you have an emergency fund in place can give you peace of mind and reduce financial stress. Increase financial stability. Having an emergency fund in place can increase financial stability as it provides a safety net and protects against unexpected expenses. Improve your long-term financial situation. Building up an emergency fund can improve your long-term financial situation as it provides a foundation for other financial goals such as saving for retirement or buying a home. Consider downsizing your lifestyle to free up money for other goals. Avoid excessive spending on entertainment and dining out. Increase financial stability. Avoiding using credit cards for unnecessary purchase can increase financial stability as it reduces debt and helps you stay within your budget. By avoiding using credit cards for unnecessary purchase, you can reduce debt improve your credit score, stay within your budget, avoid overspending, and increase financial stability. This is a good strategy for managing your money wisely and making progress towards your financial goals. By saving for emergencies and building up an emergency fund, you can protect against unexpected expenses, avoid going into debt, increase financial stability, and improve your long-term financial situation. This is a good strategy for managing your money wisely and making progress towards your financial goals. Number 8. Plan for large expenses, such as a new car or home renovation, in advance. Planning for large expenses, such as a new car or home renovation, in advance is an important aspect of wise money management. Here's a more detailed explanation of why this is a good strategy. Avoid overspending. Planning for large expenses in advance can help you avoid overspending, as you'll have a clear idea of what you need to save for and how much you need to save. Stay within your budget. By planning for large expenses in advance, you can allocate money in your budget towards these expenses, which can help you stay within your budget. Avoid going into debt. Without a plan, large expenses can lead to going into debt such as using credit cards or taking out a loan. Planning for these expenses in advance can help you avoid going into debt. Save money. By planning for large expenses in advance, you can take advantage of sales and discounts, which can result in substantial savings. Increase financial stability. Planning for large expenses in advance can increase financial stability 
as it helps you avoid overspending, stay within your budget, and avoid going into debt. Consider the total cost of ownership when making big purchase, such as a car or home, by planning for large expenses, such as a new car or home renovation. In advance, you can avoid overspending, stay within your budget, avoid going into debt, save money, and increase financial stability. This is a good strategy for managing your money wisely and making progress towards your financial goals. Number 9. Don't be afraid to negotiate for better prices or terms. Use coupons, discount codes, and cashback programs to save money. Don't be afraid to negotiate for better prices or terms and using coupons, discount codes, and cashback programs to save money are important aspects of wise money management. Here's a more detailed explanation of why these strategies are effective. Negotiate for better prices or terms. Negotiating for better prices or terms can result in substantial savings, especially for large expenses such as a car or home renovation. Don't be afraid to ask for a discount, negotiate interest rates, or ask for better terms. Use coupons and discount codes. Coupons and discount codes can result in significant savings when shopping online or in-store. Take advantage of these opportunities to reduce your expenses and save money. Use cashback programs. Cashback programs allow you to earn money back when you make purchase. These programs can result in substantial savings over time and are a great way to make the most of your spending. Comparison shop. Compare prices and terms for products and services to ensure that you are getting the best deal. This can help you save money and make informed purchasing decisions by negotiating for better prices or terms, using coupons, discount codes, and cashback programs, and comparison shopping. You can make the most of your spending and save money. This is a good strategy for managing your money wisely and making progress towards your financial goals. Number 10. Make smart investments, such as in a 400 and on a core IRA. Take advantage of employer matching programs for retirement savings. Making smart investments, such as in a 400 and on a core IRA, and taking advantage of employer matching programs for retirement savings are important aspects of wise money management. Here's a more detailed explanation of why these strategies are effective. Invest in a 400 and on acre IRA. A 400 and on acre IRA is a retirement savings plan that offers tax advantages and can help you save for retirement. Investing in one of these plans can help you build wealth over time and prepare for your financial future. Take advantage of employer matching programs. Many employers offer matching programs for retirement savings, such as a 400 and on ec. Taking advantage of these programs can result in substantial savings and help you reach your retirement goals faster. Diversify your investments. Diversifying your investments, such as by investing in a mix of stocks, bonds, and real estate, can help reduce risk and increase the potential for growth. Start early. The earlier you start investing, the more time your investments have to grow. Starting early can help you reach your retirement goals faster and provide more financial security in retirement. Consult a financial advisor. Consult a financial advisor for guidance on making smart investments. A financial advisor can help you create a personalized investment plan and provide guidance on making informed investment decisions. By making smart investments, such as in a 400 and on a core IRA, and taking advantage of employer matching programs for retirement savings, you can build wealth over time and prepare for your financial future. This is a good strategy for managing your money wisely and making progress towards your financial goals. Number 11. Use public transportation, bike or walk instead of driving to save on gas and maintenance costs. Using public transportation, biking, or walking instead of driving to save on gas and maintenance costs is an important aspect of wise money management. 
here's a more detailed explanation of why this is a good strategy. Save on gas. Gas can be expensive, especially with fluctuating prices. Using public transportation, biking, or walking instead of driving can save you money on gas and reduce your expenses, reduce maintenance costs. Driving can result in wear and tear on your vehicle, which can result in costly repairs and maintenance. Using alternative modes of transportation can reduce maintenance costs and save you money, reduce carbon footprint. Using alternative modes of transportation can reduce your carbon footprint and have a positive impact on the environment, good for your health. Biking or walking instead of driving can be good for your health as it provides physical activity and can help you maintain a healthy lifestyle. Convenient. Public transportation can be convenient and efficient, especially in urban areas. Biking or walking can also be convenient for short trips and errands. By using public transportation, biking, or walking instead of driving to save on gas and maintenance costs, you can reduce expenses, reduce your carbon footprint, improve your health, and be more convenient. This is a good strategy for managing your money wisely and making progress towards your financial goals.